Y'all, so I just came out of my backyard and the water is up really, really high. I mean, you can see the tide's up super high. And there's some monsters hanging along the seawall. There's one right there. Let me show you what I'm using real quick. And uh, we're gonna try to hook that joker. This is a two aught circle hook. I've tied a loop knot in 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I have about three feet of that. And I'm throwing that on a Shimano Saragoza 5000 with 30 pound braid and a dark matter seven foot three inch IO rod. We're gonna toss this out along the seawall and try to catch us one of those giants. Let's go do it. Look y'all, I'm gonna take this mullet strip. Try to coerce these jokers to bite. Oh, that drum just grabbed it. Oh, no. Got a big pinfish. Dang it. He grabbed it before the drum could. So that's a pretty solid pinfish. I may use him as bait or just let him go. Probably end up letting him go since I have plenty of bait. I have a bigger piece of cut bait. Two black drum right here. Toss it away from him so it doesn't scare him. Four. Four big black drum. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Come on, one of them's gotta eat. Put it right here. Oh, there's one right here. Just as I was talking. If I can get this past the pinfish. Oh, he just swam by at me. Oh, well, I don't know what this is. <clears throat> not quite for sure what I have here. Definitely not that big black drum. Oh, interesting. I mean, maybe I do. I don't know. <laughs> well, this is cool. I guess I do have a big black drum. Oh, yeah. He's a big one. <clears throat> well, thought I had a pinfish there for a second. Oh, no. Red fish. Wow. That's a pretty red fish. Oh. Good gracious. That sucker is pretty. Come on. I'll take that over the black drum. Oh, oh wow, what a nice one. Y'all see that? Oh, it's a nice fish. Okay, come here. That's dinner. <laughs> That's dinner, y'all. Heck yeah. So I just brought them on the porch to show mom and my brother, but look at the size of that redfish. That is an overslot red but still a good size to keep and eat. So we have dinner right here. I'm glad he was hooked good. Look where that circle hook is. So I like using those. All I did was add a little split shot weight and I had to use a live shrimp because I couldn't get them to hit anything else. But I'll take that over one of them big black drum. Look at that red fish. And that was caught on the Saragosa 5000 and the Dark Matter seven foot three inch IO rod. Absolutely love this rod. It's linked down below if you want to go pick you one up. It has caught some big fish, but it's still super lightweight. So there's my nice redfish. He's gonna go on ice, but look at that joker right there. Heck yeah. Y'all, so that fish is on ice. Thank you, Lord, for that fish. That is awesome. And so we have dinner. My leader's still good. You always wanna check your leader after a big fish like that. And if you have to retie, go ahead and do that for your next cast. But I'm gonna take this shrimp. I like to hook it where that horn meets the body. Real pretty shrimp like that. Let's see if we can find us another fish. That was awesome. Didn't expect that one. Sight casting a black drum and catching a redfish. Oh, there's a black drum right there. I bet we can get him. <laughs> right here. Oh, is he going to eat the shrimp? Oh, he just got scared. Okay. Oh, and a dumb pinfish tried to eat it. Well, that's funny. <laughs> really funny. Okay. At least I have my shrimp left. Here you go, pinfish. There's one right there. Come on. Oh, oh. Okay, the black drum's eating it, I think. Yeah, he has it. Ready? 
there it is. Oh, see circle hooks just start reeling and put pressure on it. Oh, we have another monster. Oh, I'm about to fall in this ditch. <laughs> there we go. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm about to fall down in the water, y'all. This is a big, big fish. And I'm only using 30 pound braid. This fish is probably over 30 pounds. So I want him to run a little bit and get tired. But also I have to be mindful of the structure around me. Come here. <laughs> These are so cool. Back to back giants. Come here. That's all they wanted was some shrimp. That's it. Thing about black drum is they can give up fairly easy. They're still an incredibly fun fight. But you want to try to get them in, you know, fairly quickly unless you plan on keeping and eating it. If not, they're gonna be worn down. Survival rate's fairly low. But these are pretty hardy fish. There he is. Look at this big old water heifer. <laughs> Y'all have seen, heard me say that before. Oh, probably got the camera wet. <laughs> Circle hooks in the corner of his mouth. Try to do this without falling in the water. Y'all, I'm gonna keep them in the water as long as I can because I'm gonna release this fish. When you start pulling them out of the water, they can handle it. These fish are pretty tough, but you do put some trauma to them. Mm. They don't have teeth. They do have some thick molars that crunch the crabs back there and have sandpaper mouth. There's a big old black drum. <laughs> Trying not to drop my rod or reel in the water, but I'm gonna let him go. So here we go, y'all. Let me make sure. It stays upright. It's wanting to go. There you go, buddy. Woo! Back to back fish. First one with that red fish, and then the black drum. Let's do that again. <laughs> that is fun. There's like three of them, but there's one right in front of me again. Oh, I have them. <laughs> I try to give you a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get them in that structure. Mm. I let mom cast out first and hers got bit off by a pinfish and then he grabbed mine. So that was cool. <laughs> There's so many down here. It's insane right now because the water's super hot. Mm. Gotta keep them out of this broken dock piling. Yeah, you don't. This one's different. It's a little bit darker than the other one. Here he is. Oh, and he's a little bit bigger. <laughs> Bring it in quick. There we go. Look how red his lips are. Okay. So there it is. Now you can eat these, they're much better when they're smaller. But black drum actually have no size limits here in the state of alabama maybe different in the state you're in but if you fish for them in alabama they don't have any size limits but these size here can get kind of wormy so most of the time i like to catch a release <laughs> circle hook i love using those oh wow see <laughs> that one I brought in so fast that it was nice and healthy. I didn't have to hold them. <laughs> Heck yeah. Three for three on live shrimp. Y'all, what is up, everybody? This is my Old Town kayak. Super awesome kayak. They'll be linked down in the description below. Just out here on a nice, hot, but really pretty evening. Going to do some inshore kayak fishing. All I brought with me is one rod combo. I have a Z-Man Texas I jig head in the 3 16th ounce with a Z-Man paddlers on there really cool color should stand out nice and good in this kind of muddy bay water running about two feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader throwing this on a pin battle 3dx 2500 
15 pound power pro braid and this is a dark matter psychedelic seven foot medium heavy inshore spinning rod let's go ahead and throw along this bay cover some water with the z-man and see what we can find now let's make some casts cover some water making a long cast right now plenty of schools of bait around i'm just gonna reel this kind of slowly back to me use it as a search bait every now and then i'll give it a pause give it a twitch just make it look injured make it look like an easy target Oh, there we go. Threw right in that corner and just hooked up. That was awesome. Heck yeah. Oh, little micro redfish, check him out. Y'all, the sun's to my back, but look at that little micro redfish or rat red on the Z-Man. We're gonna let him go. Pretty little thing. All right, bud. Thank you for the fight. What little fight you had, but it was still a fight. So our bait's still good. I just have to readjust it back up on the hook like that, and we're good to go. Let's get another cast out, y'all. Ooh, let's see if one's hanging in this grass. It's like six inches of water right here. Very shallow. Oh, there was something. I don't know what that was. It's chasing bait. Stand up. Look at that chasing bait. Oh, another little, little bitty fish trying to grab it. Oh, that one wasn't so little. There's one. Alrighty. Fighting pretty good right here. Alright. Come here, you. Really? Hardhead catfish? Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Yep, still summertime for sure. Hardhead catfish on artificial. I was hoping it was a red at least, but eh, fish is a fish. There you go, ma'am. I want to get finned by him. Get another cast out, y'all. It's hoping to be a flounder or red. Hmm. There's something else there. On the good old Z man. Has some nice head shakes. Oh. Okay. A little bit better fish, y'all. A lot better fish. That's a pretty red. Yes. Nice red fish. See if he can stay out from under the kayak. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. All right, come on. Come to the net. Oh, yeah, he's in. My lure's out. That Z Man Paddlers with Pro Cure on it. And there's our redfish, y'all. Look at that. Perfect slot red. Very good eating. He's actually going to go on my stringer. I'm going to keep him because you can't get any more perfect or fresh than that. But I'm glad he liked that lure. It's awesome being able to catch him in a kayak. You just fill one with the water. I'm sitting in real shallow water, so I pulled up the drive and I'm using the paddle. That's an awesome fish right there. Heck yeah. It is not too bad right now, y'all. I am back home, and uh, it's a couple days later I'm filming this outro. I've been pretty busy uh, painting, as you can see, but our deck looks really good. But y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was awesome, getting some really quality fish just right outside of my backyard. Extremely blessed being able to do that. So, and then went out in the kayak just to throw some Z-Man around and managed some nice fish. So Y'all appreciate you for watching. Don't forget to go check out all our partners of the channel down linked below this video. We'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. If you have not yet subscribed and you enjoy this content like this, go hit the subscribe button. I love sharing all these experiences with each and every one of y'all. Most importantly, I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later.